July 3rd, 1863. The Battle of Gettysburg came to an end. One of the most important turning points of the Civil War. During the war, President Abraham Lincoln was visited by a clergyman who said to him, Mr. Lincoln, we must pray that God is on our side. Lincoln replied, I am not at all concerned about that. What I am far more concerned about is that we are on the side of God. Outside the walls of Arlington National Cemetery stands the famous monument of Iwo Jima, the largest bronze statue in the world. It depicts six young Marines raising their flag on the Japanese island of Iwo Jima. This event did not take place during the Civil War. It took place in the Second World War in 1945. On February 23rd of that year, these six young men were able to raise the American flag on that island. The bronze statue is topped by a 60-foot flagpole held in the hands of these six young men. From that flagpole flies night and day, seven days a week, a cloth American flag. This is by the 1961 decree of President Kennedy. This is one of the very few places in the world where by decree the flag flies 24 hours a day. It is a remarkable monument model after the Pulitzer Prize winning photograph taken of the event. Six young Marines are depicted. Three of them survived the Battle of Iwo Jima. Three did not. And the three survivors posed personally for this sculpture. You see there are six boys and twelve hands raising this flag. But it has often been noted that if you observe the statue from a certain angle, you will see not twelve hands, but thirteen. The sculptor has denied putting in a thirteenth hand. He said twelve hands were quite enough. Yet the rumors persist. From a certain angle, an extra hand is seen. Many people have said that this is the hand of God. It is very comforting to see the hand of God, especially when that hand is working together with our own hands in doing what we have set out to do. It is very comforting to feel the presence of God next to us. We do not like to feel alone. Even Jesus called others to be with him on his journey. As human beings, we seem to be very fond of choosing sides. For us, it is so often this one or that one. Democrats or Republicans, conservatives or liberals, black or white, straight or gay, Dodgers or Giants, us or them. We like to pick a side to be on, to the total exclusion of all those many other sides who just might have something equally valuable to contribute. We like to force God onto a side as well. And of course, in our eyes, God is always on that side that we have picked for ourselves. God is so much bigger than all of that. God's love is great enough 
to wrap around sides and tops and bottoms we never dreamed existed. The hand of God was indeed there on Iwo Jima, upholding those three flag-raising Marines who survived the battle and raising up those three who did not. The hand of God was there on the shoulders of those 22,000 Japanese soldiers who were killed in that same battle defending their island, and upon the shoulders of the 216 who lived through it. God was present three generations earlier at Gettysburg, not as the God of the Union, not as the God of the Confederacy, but as the God of frightened, dying human beings. The statue does not lie. The hand of God is always there, regardless of whether the sculptor put it there. Whether or not we see it depends entirely on the angle from which we look. We can choose to see only the naked bronze of the art, only the cold steel of war, only the flesh and blood of life. Or we can look at the world from another angle and see beyond the material existence and notice another hand, another presence. To reach that angle, to see that hand, to feel that presence, we have to stop looking for the God who is on our side and open our eyes to the God who is by our side. For whether for us life is a battlefield or a harvest field, whether we struggle against the current or float serenely along, whether we are laughing, weeping, or dying, God is by our side, always by our side. No wonder then that our own age, our own war-ravished, restless world has so warmly embraced the music of Irish composer Liam Lawton. Even when the rain hides the stars, even though the mist swirls the hills, even when the dark clouds veil the sky, God is by my side. Even when the sun shall fall in sleep, even when at dawn the sky shall weep, even in the night when storms shall rise, God is by my side. God is by my side.